there is a woodpecker. Can you hear it? It's Monday morning, I'm in Regent's Park and there's a woodpecker somewhere up there. Quite cold. Bit of a shock after the Middle East. Where's that woodpecker? BT Tower. Now I know I'm home. Round and round it goes. And the traffic. Marimer. London. Hello, now for my big surprise. So yes, I am very close up. I'm getting ready to go out. Actually, I'm doing um, a big podcast for Sheer Lux with Nadine Baggett. Um, but I wanted to show you my secret. What I've, what I've been hiding from you, but might explain my behavior um, whilst I was on holiday and just prior to my holiday. Do you remember on my holiday, I wore no makeup whatsoever, rather similar to this, except I did wear a red lip. But the reason being, I was resting my eyelashes. I was on holiday in the Middle East. This is the clip where I tell you, when I'm at a beach hotel, why I'm not wearing any makeup. Have a look. Because I'm resting my eyelashes, but I'm doing a red lip. And uh, my hair, which is swimming hair. So, why was I resting my eyelashes? My eyelashes, I'm 69, my eyelashes have got thinner and thinner and more and more brittle, they just break off and I have tried everything. I have tried a build up mascara from a brand that uh, was a big brand but it just crumbled in my eyes, I ended up getting all this stuff in my eyes. I've had eyelash, eyelash extensions um, which were fine until they started to fall off and I ended up with one big lash. Um, I could wear false eyelashes. I quite like false eyelashes on other people. I don't want them on myself. I want low maintenance. I want to wear as little makeup as possible and as little fakery as possible. That's the only way I can put it. So, I have been trialling UK Lash. I have in the past used an eyelash serum many, many years ago. It was extremely expensive and it, I suppose, it, yes, it did work, but I gave up because I couldn't actually afford it. Um, and then UK Lash asked through my agent to work with me and I said, oh my gosh, Nigel, I need something for my lashes because at my age, post-menopause, and it started during the menopause, they started to drop out and to break. So I want something that is going to work on my eyelashes to make them stronger and add length. UK Lash. This is what I've been trialling for now about three weeks. And it's difficult to show you a before and after because my eyelashes are blonde. So if I come really close up, you're not gonna see much at all. It's only when I put the mascara on, you will see the difference. So all you do, it is so simple. I literally use this before I go to sleep. You run it along your lash line, one sweep on each eye along your lash line. And then for me, I just go to sleep. That's it, that's all you do. Now, for the big reveal. I'm going to show you, and this is the first time I have put mascara on since I came back from holiday. And I am using the UK Lash Lengthening Mascara. I just want to tell you, you're probably thinking, what actually is in this serum? It's all natural, it's peptides, it's amino acids, um, it's vitamins to help build up and extend your lashes. So it's really good stuff. And this, is the lengthening mascara. There's also an eyelash comb, which I love, um, which is part of uh, their range. You need to look at their range. So I'm just going to put this on now. And it's really tricky because the mirror is to the side, but you will see very, I can see already, gosh. So you will see very, very quickly, I'm going to do it on one eye, how it has 
thickened and extended my lashes. I will stop the camera in a moment and do both eyes so you can see for yourself. Now, those of you who have followed me will know that the lashes were very thin, very stubbly. This is just one coat of their lengthening mascara. I am now going to stop the camera. I'm going to put it on both eyes. I don't sell, I seldom put it underneath um, mascara because I've got older. I don't really want it underneath because I don't want it to cake. Um, but yes, this is the lengthening mascara. Just look at the lashes. So this is after three weeks, all right? Now I'm gonna turn this off, I'm gonna put some more on and then I will show you the end result on both eyes. Wow, this is two coats. I've no other makeup on. I don't even need the eyelash comb. They've separated, but look at the length, look at the thickness. So I think you'll agree, that is a huge success. No fake eyelashes, no extensions, no bits of mascara that are gonna fall in my eyes. UK Lash, I'm gonna leave the link below. I have used the serum every single night. I'm gonna to continue to use it. I've also used their lengthening mascara, and there is also a mascara comb, which is fantastic, and eye makeup remover pads. I'll leave the link below, check them out, but oh my gosh, I've never dared go with, get this camera so close to my eyes. Look at that, all natural, thank you. Right, heading off now to Knightsbridge. <laughs> Knightsbridge. I am hosting a podcast for the Sheer Lux Gold Show with, and gosh, this is more lighting isn't very flattering, is it? With Nadine Baggett. And um, she is getting a car. I would probably have a car if I asked for one, but I don't like to. She has a long way to come in. I'm going on the tube. But what am I wearing? I am wearing a new suit from Theory. Do you remember I had a bright pink um, or like a strawberry pink suit and I loved it so much it's wool and this is their spring color which is lavender I know it's not spring yet but I love this color so yeah let me just show you it's the whole thing is from theory actually the trousers the jacket which you can have done up or undone and the t-shirt all in lavender from theory right at least it's not absolutely dark. It's getting lighter, isn't it? Off I go. Before I go, can I just say what has happened to my hair? Um, my hair has grown and it's taken on a life of its own. It seems to be going up at the ends. I look like a 1960s go-go dancer, an old one. Anyway, I will sort my hair out at some point. It has grown a lot though. I think probably in the sun in Muscat, but um, okay, I'll go with it until I have it sorted. Am I the first to arrive? Uh, well, I think you're the first. Actually, no, Nadine's Nadine here. Is Nadine is here. here. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, but yeah, I just caught you then. I was just heading out and I thought, who's, who's that lady in purple? In the, in the shoes. Oh, come here. Oh, you. thanks, Henry. That's Henry, everybody. So, just come in here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. And this is it. This is where we're going. Hi. 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 I'm Sheer Lux. Um, it's Joe Good. Sorry, I won't film any clients. Hi. You are. Oh, you want me to introduce yeah. myself? Hello, my name is Louis. I'm the event manager here. Oh, you're the event manager. Well yes. done. This is an amazing room. Hi, guys. Hello. And that's Henry, who's doing a far better job than me. Oh, wow. Oh, this is nice. Good. I 
and here are all the girls. <laughs> Hello, Miss Flippy. What's happened to my hair? I love it. I look like a 1960s old. Yes. I don't know no, what I television love, I really like the family. You know Charlotte? No. Charlotte's hi. editor of Sheer Oh, nice to meet you. Nice you. Hi. 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 All the girls? Yes. All oh, right, I'll turn this off now. I said. No. So this is Anne from Estee Lauder. Hello. Wow. How amazing to have you here. Well, how amazing to have you. Thank you so well, much. Well, uh, I think this is, I mean, legend. And actually, I've been Googling a lot about Estee, which is amazing. I wish I could see the 1980s documentary, because I haven't seen it. But I'd love to see it. But your skin is wonderful. Oh, thank you. So this it is, is uh, our new futurist Glad you love it. Looking forward to tonight. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much for not at all. Pleased to be here. So, just say what you said to me there. I look forward to getting older now. She's looking, looking forward to getting older. I just very much so. Listen, the best compliment is this lovely young lady said she's looking forward to getting older. Yes. That, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't wish it on yourself too quickly. But don't dread it either. But don't dread it. Well done. Anything to my skin. Thank you, my darling. Very well, very well. Did you enjoy it? I did, very much. Very inspired by both of you. Oh, what? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, you. Long stem white roses. Look, just thinking long stem white roses. Which are my very favorite. Thank you. It's been a very successful day. Nadine is being absolutely. What's the word? Um, quiz. Yes. Fangled. Yes, she's been This is one of my fans. I mean, she's really Hello, I'm, I'm Joe's vlogger now. Hello. <laughs> middle aged mix. Middle aged mix. Oh, sorry, middle aged mix. Sorry. Forgive me. She's <laughs> asking me what she can do with her jowl. Yeah, well, oh, what can we all do now? I'm turning into my She's just telling me how to do it. Oh, I can't Let me ask you, when, okay, so now you're here for your vlog. What is your number one beauty tip? Uh, sleep. Honestly, mm. because I go to bed. You're being, your face is being blocked by your flowers. Okay. Because I go to bed at half past one in the morning because of my job. Yes. Um, I often don't have enough sleep. I've just been away for ten days and I just feel so much better because I'm okay. okay. sleep and probably a good serum. Okay. Stay longer. I was going to say, do you have a favourite lover? What a great night and I love my flowers. That was a fantastic night um, and it is part of the Sheer Lux podcast, uh, gold podcast um, and uh, yeah I'm in a cab, what do I think I'm doing? I bought new shoes, I'm going back to Myrtle because Myrtle, I must talk to you about Myrtle, Myrtle is in season which is slightly worrying but um, anyway I'll be back with her soon and um, then we can have more of a talk, a bit hectic really. Last night was fantastic. It was fantastic. Everything I do with Sheer Lux, I love. They are, they are family to me. That sounds so ridiculously dramatic, but they, um, I just love them. I love that, I love the way they work. I love that they're happy, they work hard, but they enjoy their lives. And the event was fantastic. It is a podcast which will go up um, but it was in front of a live audience and many of you were there. So if you were there, leave a comment um, under this vlog and tell me if you were there because I met a lot of you last night. Anyway, I will post that um, when, gold, when the Gold Show on Sheer Lux, when they release it. We're recording another Gold Show next week. What do you think about this? I don't know what I think about this hair. It's... It, oh God, I'm becoming one of those vloggers that just sit talking about their hair. Well, I've done it for years, so I may as well continue. Um, I don't know, it turning up at the bottom, I feel like a very dated 1960s, I don't know what. I don't know whether to keep it. My dilemma is tomorrow, I'm doing a big job, a very big job for a local hotel. And um, it's a sort of tour of Marylebone because I know Marylebone so well. We're going to be filming outside, but I don't like wearing coats because I'm so short. I like wearing a suit. And I might wear the lavender suit I wore last night, which I love. It's from Theory and it's, a, it's for this season spring collection. I paid for it. It wasn't a collaboration. 
but all the suits I've ever bought, I wear again and again. They're very good investment suits. Um, but I might wear that, but I've got an awful feeling I'm going to freeze. It's going to be very cold tomorrow. Anyway, that's that. To leave in the comments, no doubt you will, about my hair. Um, right, so I am now, it's, what day is it? Tuesday, but I'm going into, the, no, it's Wednesday. Tuesday. I'm going into the BBC to pre-record an interview with, wait for it, Candice Bushnell. Um, she is the author, the writer of the series Sex and the City, which is a writer of the column um, from the New York Telegraph that then was turned into a book and then a cult television series and two films and yet another series, all based on her. She is Carrie Bradshaw. I'm interviewing her in the BBC and um, when you get big guests like this, I am prepared to run in and do it whenever they want to do it. Um, but I'm always apprehensive because they're such a big guest. The possibilities that they cancel at the last minute because they can't get there or they're tired or they've been held up in a television studio, I'm prepared. But hopefully I'm going to record her. It will go out this weekend on my radio show, so you'll be able to hear it on BBC Sounds, but I'm going to film a little bit for you on my vlog with her um, because she's... Well, she's my idol. Sex in the city is always relevant. I mean, I live in the city, but I don't have sex. <laughs> and I will be talking to her about that. She says there are, sorry, this is a bit, maybe you don't like this sort of chat, but she says, I've been watching interviews with her, and she says, post-menopause, there are two types of women. One who loves sex, feels empowered, and, you know, really enjoys it, and others who just don't want to know. Guess what camp I fall into? Actually, I'm still quite tan from Muscat. Not my face, because I was covered in SPF. Um, in fact, my body I was covered in SPF, but I, I picked up a bit of a tan. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the BBC now. Myrtle, oh gosh, Myrtle. Myrtle came on heat whilst I was in Muscat. Now, I know many of you, if, if we ever talk about dog problems, dog, it, there's so more, people are more opinionated about dogs, and I know this because I've done a dog show for 14 years. Um, so many of you are going to say she should have been spayed. She should have been spayed. But if you remember, when I wanted to spay her, her hormone levels weren't right. They wanted those to settle before, they spay, before I spayed her. By that time, she was heading into her next season, which was too dangerous. So I had to wait for her to have a season. Now she's had it, she will be spayed. I think it's, you have to wait six weeks. I'll ask Anna. I think you have to wait six weeks. Gosh, that'll be Mel. I'm late. Don't comment about Myrtle being on heat. She's actually fine. She never wants to walk anyway. Now she all she wants to do is sit on my lap. Um, and it's controversial. Whether they should be spayed before their first um, season or after, I know. I do endless phone-ins on it. So please don't comment. All right? Love you. This is Candice, everybody. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And she is stunning. And she's tiny, everyone. I was thinking, all the best people are tiny, and she is. They are. And they I'm are. so excited. Candice, just tell everybody how long you're in London for. Uh, I, I'm only in London for a couple of days, but I'm going all around the UK doing my show, True Tales of Sex, Success in Sex in the City, and I'm at the London Palladium on February 7th. We'll leave all the details to that below, okay, on a link. Right, we're going to get on with the interview. You go to BBC Sounds if you want to hear this interview. Oh, good morning, everybody. Gosh, it's half past five in the morning on Thursday. I don't want to turn the light on because I'm wearing my Rachel Riley. Oh, blow it, I'm turning the lights on. I'm wearing Rachel Riley. Winciette pyjamas for children that have actually shrunk is because all my washing from Muscat everything is waiting to be washed and um, I haven't done any wash I haven't had time to do any washing anyway um, I'm up early because I am filming today for a hotel I pulled the blind just to see if it's light at all it is um, just getting light I am filming today for a fantastic new hotel that is positioned between Mayfair, Marylebone and Soho 
and they are doing promotions in those three areas. So they've approached people from each of those area who know the area very well. So obviously they would approach me because I know Marylebone like the back of my hand. It's my manner. Um, so I am filming with them, taking them to where I would recommend visitors to London, um, where I recommend they would um, love to be and love to see. So first off is Daunt's Bookshop. If you know Marylebone High Street, Daunt's Bookshop is the they think the first purpose-built bookshop in the world. It's stunning. It's Edwardian and they are opening just for us to film in there. But we can only go in very quickly with one cameraman. That's why I'm up so early. So anyway, that's my day. I'll film some of it. Um, it's been a busy week. And I'll, I'll sit and explain to you at the end of this vlog everything about Myrtle. She's fine. She's outside, actually. Outside. She's in the hall. She can't come on the bed for obvious reasons. Um, but anyway, I will tell you all about that uh, later in the vlog. You can't see me. That might be a blessing. And please excuse these child's wincyette pyjamas. They're even too small for me, but they're my last, you know, like your last pair of knickers. These are like my last pyjamas, the last ones I have before I do a whole wash. Right, onwards, plaster the face. The other thing is I'm going to be wearing my lilac suit that you saw me wear at the beginning. And um, it's, it's hopefully not going to rain, but it's not going to be that warm. But I'll just do it for vanity's sake because I think it will photograph well in a moving touring vlog. I hope so. Wish me luck. I'm probably going to catch pneumonia. This is the crew, everybody. Yeah. So this is the crew. <laughs> this is Benji. He's got to make this work. And we're in Dawn's. Hi, everybody. This is the biggest crew I think I've ever worked with. Um, and uh, yeah, we're in Dawn's, which is such a privilege. Nobody is in here. It's like Night at the Museum or whatever they call it. What is that film? What is yeah, that? Night at the Museum. Yeah. Um, and we're trying to avoid this man. <laughs> this man here. Dayglow, I could kill Dayglow. Whoever invented Dayglow. But anyway, um, yeah, so this is our first port of call. So excited, and it's sunny outside. What is this camera? It's a Bolex, Bolex film God. camera. Fantastic. Wait till you hear it. Amazing, guys. Not even I remember these, and I'm old. Amazing. We are still filming. In Chilton Street, you know Chilton Street, it's where the very famous firehouse is. I'm outside the Chilton Street deli um, in Marylebone, but we just, it's, it's now getting really dark. This camera doesn't show actually how dark it is, but the light is amazing. I'm gonna show you the extraordinary architecture <laughs> and the extraordinary art director. The architecture, look at that. So that is modern. Modern Marylebone and old Marylebone. Look who's here, everybody. Hi, Joe. It's Anna, and we're in the Swedish cafe downstairs. We are, on Great Chip Sugar Street, doing a little bit of uh, Swedish shopping. So I'm buying some pepper kaka, ginger biscuits, that are called Anna's. <laughs> so because that's... Anna is half, this, this light isn't doing us any favours, no, Anna. No, it really isn't. Um, Anna is half Swedish. Yes. Her mother was Swedish. Yes. And she was called um, Gunilla. Yes, a very and Swedish name. A very Swedish name. So, and we've just had uh, chai lattes upstairs. We've just done a pre-record for uh, the radio show tonight. Um, and we've just had chai lattes. And Anna's doing some Swedish shopping. So what do you have in your basket? I have some Swedish cheese. What is what was that cheese like then? Is it well? It's mild. Um, it's just known in Sweden. It's just delicious on you know open sandwiches because what they do in Sweden you have those like cheese 
slices. Yes, have so you got so one thin. of those? No, but I'll just chop it off in chunks. Well, I wonder if they <laughs> sell them here. We should get one. Yeah, I know. And then just some, some pickled herring. That's what I'm going to get. Yeah, the pickled so herrings. good for you. And then I think we need to get some knackebra, which is like you know thick, thick. Rivita, oh, which right, is delicious. And look at these sweets. Do these are these yeah, Swedish? They are. I didn't know till the other day that Haribo apparently is a Swedish brand. Shouldn't mention brands, but you know. And did you grow up with any of those? Yes, definitely. Which All one? Of these. Well, this is really old Swedish brand, definitely. There we go. So yeah, so that's fudge and caramel, salted caramel. So if what street are we on? Great Titchfield. Yes. So. I am going to finish the vlog here with Anna and do some shopping. Dave is in LA, um, and so I'm gonna get him to send a video to say how he's getting on in LA. He's just watching The Real Housewives, Anna. <laughs> that's all he does is watch televisions with the curtains. Are you sure that's what he No, no, it is. He comes back whiter than he goes <laughs> um, with the curtains drawn. Don't forget, oh, have you, do you notice how long my eyelashes look. Yeah, you look great. You look so healthy. Well, this is my um, UK lash that I've been using. Oh. So it, it's a serum. It helps your eyelashes grow. Mm. I'm going to leave the link below if you want mm. to try it, everybody. Does it really well, it looks good? It does. It look, And it, they look longer and separated. Mm. Um, I love your hair at the moment, though, Joe. Um, no, I love Joe's hair a bit bushy. Oh, you see? Oh, I, oh, yeah, no, so it's, it's better. It's, I hate it like this, but Anna likes it. Look how long it. Anna's is. No, 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 anyway, no. we're going to carry on shopping. Say goodbye in Sweden. Hey doll. <laughs> hey doll everyone, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.